Hey everyone, today we're going to be using Epiphany to pull in data from Yahoo Finance using the Rapid API service. If you don't have Epiphany installed yet, go ahead and check the link down in the description. So once you have Epiphany installed, go ahead and open up the import API in the spreadsheet and we'll see it pull up over here on the right. So the first thing we want to do is figure out the API URL path we need to use to get the data in. All right, so I already have Rapid API pulled up right here. We'll have this link down in the description. So this is the Yahoo Finance app by API Dojo. And I am already logged in. Um, if you aren't logged in um, or don't have an account, you'll have to create that first. And then once you get down here, you have to go to pricing and choose a plan for access. So you can go ahead and just pick this basic plan, uh, free plan to start with. Just hit subscribe. And then you're going to jump over to endpoints here. And let's go ahead and load that for you. So we got some details right here that we're going to need in a minute. Um, so we have some headers here, parameters. You can see that. Um, one thing we we'll want to do, um, we have all these endpoints over here. We have markets, we have stocks, etc. cetera. Um, so one thing we'll want to do to help Streamline this is on this code snippets. Go ahead and go down to shell and pick C URL or curl. And that kind of gives us our URLs and things we need in a very easy to read format, just like that. So they have this one here, this using their autocomplete endpoint. And so we'll just use that as our first test. So we can see we have a URL here. And then we have, they call this a header. So we have one header and we have another header. So let's go ahead and copy these all in. So we have our API URL. We're gonna go ahead and copy that into our URL path. And we're gonna need, need to add these two headers. So this first one, this is the key, this is the value. So let's go ahead, we'll add two rows here. So this first key, or I'm sorry, this first key, and then the first value. And then our second header key. And our second header value, just like that. So once we get both of our headers in there, we have our API URL path. We're good to go ahead and run this. So once it finishes, you'll see it brought in all the data here just like that. And so let's go ahead and check out some more endpoints. So this was their autocomplete function. So if we go here, we can see it gets autocomplete suggestions by term or phrase. And so they tell you the required parameters. So the parameters are what comes after the question mark. So we have Q equals Tesla and region equals US. So you could put in different ones here. So if we go back here, we could change this to probably Google and probably get some good results. Hit run and run. And again, we'll see it here. So it comes up with several different search results for Google. And let's check out some of these other endpoints. So let's go to market, we can get quotes. And you can see here, you can request several different symbols. So we're going to go ahead and just grab their suggested ones right here for our demo. So we'll just replace this whole API URL with their suggested there. Um, these headers will stay the same across um, all the requests you're going to make from this. So we'll go ahead and hit run and run. And now we can see the quote response for that. So if we scroll over a little bit, we'll see we're getting all kinds of results and we're getting them across these different symbols that we requested. So we can see here we got AMD, IBM, and Apple. All right, let's go ahead and check out a couple more endpoints here real quick. Let's go ahead and close market. Let's look at stocks. 
Maybe let's get stats. And looks like here, I believe this is JD Power. Let's go ahead and grab that. Throw this back in our URL path. And hit run. That pulls back in here. We'll see it pulls all those stats in there just like that. All right, let's get what we do, get historical data. And we can see the parameters here is symbol. You can see that here, symbol and region. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that URL, paste it in here, go ahead and hit run. And now we can see those results right there. So the historical data for this symbol. All right, let's get profile. And it looks like it's doing the same one. Go ahead and paste that in, hit run. And there's the data for that right there. All right, hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can just run through these. These are all pretty simple. If you use that shell curl, you'll have that endpoint URL there. The headers, once you get them in the first time, they'll be in there and you can keep running it. And you can go through all the different endpoints they have. They do have explanation here on what's required or optional, so you can change these as necessary. All right, thank you very much, folks. Hope to see you again soon.